Hey, good day. Pastor Joe here. Glad that you would tune in today and take just about four or five minutes with me to uh, talk about what God's doing in the church and what's happening around us. I want to say first and foremost, uh, Sunday was spectacular. Many of you were in church Sunday and you saw that what the Lord did. We had praise and worship and preaching and, and baptism that we took, took place in. So it was a glorious day. And it's exciting to see the church coming back together. We have probably 80% of our normal attendance back in church on Sunday. And listen carefully, we have not had any reported cases, documented cases of COVID-19 in our fellowship since we started regathering. All right, it's just, we just haven't had any. And we praise the Lord for that. If something happens, again, nobody can guarantee that you or I won't get sick by going out, whether go to church or Walmart or or Walgreens or to the gas station and pump our gas or whether we're just picking our mail up out of the mailbox. We're exposed to a million things every day, but uh, we're just going to trust the Lord and walk in faith. And that's where, where the Lord has led us in these days that are around us. I know a lot of churches haven't even opened back up, but we have, we're doing ministry. We have never in the process of all this COVID-19 crisis ever closed our ministry doors. Uh, we didn't do the Sunday services for about nine weeks there during the height of the quarantine. But uh, we still did services and we still had your staff and those leadership gathering together, leading services and meeting in the offices every day of the week that, that, that we were open and doing the ministry God called us to do. We are the shepherds of the flock. We consider ourselves essential, according to the scripture, in ministry. So just to say this. God is moving. The numbers are increasing. We encourage you to come back and be a part of what God's doing. Exciting to see. Uh, I did get this report. I looked at the, what they call the COVID-19 dashboard for the state of Texas that they put out, and they made this statement, what you should know. And it said, over the last few days, the largest, a larger number of Texans have been, have been uh, re reported as being tested. I mean, those testing numbers go up. You can see those charts, but it says, but the positivity rate among the test is as low as it's been since June. And that's when things first started moving forward. So that's good news. Also, if you look at just the, by county, uh, Harris County, for those in the spring campus, uh, you can see how these numbers were peaking out here in June and July, June here, July, first August. But now since August 1st and last of June, they've been going radically. And you can't even see the last digit. You can look these up online yourself. That's, that's the actual number of... Uh, of confirmed cases in Harris County going down. So even though more and more people are being tested, look at the numbers as they continue to go down. Also, the deaths, look how they're dropping way down here. That's Harris. Montgomery County is even radically different. So you'll see that the deaths and the numbers that are there, they're just going down and down and down and down as well. So it gets down to this last reported week with about like one or two deaths in Montgomery County. Again, good news. God's answering our prayers. Uh, people are returning to worship and, re and returning to normal life. Yes, the media is still trying to scare the bejeebers out of each and every one of us, but we're not going to let them run our lives. September the 13th. Let me tell you about this real quick. We're having what we're calling the regathering where we're encouraging all of our family members, all our church to come back to church, not just to come, but to bring a neighbor, bring a friend and invite some with you. We still have plenty of room in our worship centers for social distancing. So that's not gonna be a problem, but we're looking for a great day in the Lord on September 13th. The next several Sundays, I'll be talking about it. I'll be preparing the, preparing the church for us. We'll probably have a special worship and prayer meetings that we're going to do, uh, some virtual meetings that'll take place, but uh, it's all about coming back home and getting back together. The church was never meant to live in isolation. Even the time during persecution when things were at their worst in Rome, the church was still being encouraged to gather together and meet together and always encouraged to believe God. Let me just say this as I close today's report. God is moving. Great things are happening. I want to challenge you to come be a part of what God's doing. Maybe you've been out of church for a long time. Maybe you weren't even regular before all this started. Come, get back home, get back to church where the Lord wants you. But I'll close with this. Never, ever let fear overrule and override and take charge of your life. Always choose to live by faith. Never let fear overrule faith. And that's a decision that you have to make. I love you and praying for you. I'll see you Sunday. God bless you. If you have any questions, be sure and email me at Pastor Joe at bfchurch.com. Go to our website. You can contact me through that as well. God bless you and thanks for listening today. Amen.